These Indiegogo-backed speakers were funded almost two years ago in 2015, but their stackable design and sound went on to receive an award at CES 2017. What makes these speakers so interesting is their strength in numbers. This is Joshua Vergara, what's going on everybody, and this is our review of the iFi stackable speaker. What you're seeing here is an installation we had the pleasure of experiencing during CES 2017. A wall of over 60 iFi speakers blasting out some great music. Check this out. One iFi speaker is being used to output this popular song but at a pretty low volume. Every other speaker in the installation is set to the same volume level but will listen to what happens when the host speaker makes contact with the rest. The speakers themselves look a bit industrial, Scandinavian in design as their website says, and there are clear cues around the metal frame that lend to the stacking ability. Rubber feet on the bottom sit perfectly into the indentations on the top, and the sides have areas where magnetic iFi coins help to line up the speakers side by side. The mesh on the front and the back have a little bit of give to them, but overall these speakers feel pretty rugged and strong. But unfortunately, these speakers aren't made to be anywhere near water. The back of the speakers have the charging contacts for the power brick cable, a spot to safely keep the iFi coin, and then there are touch sensitive controls that allow users to turn the device on or off, initiate Bluetooth connections, and change the LED color. Sliding up and down these three buttons changes the volume. I mentioned LED color and it's one of the coolest features of the iFi. An LED strip lines the front and the color can be changed in the iFi app. They signal connections via blinks and are a solid color during playback, making them as pleasing to the eye as they are to the ear. The only real aspect we didn't quite like was the charging experience. Each and every speaker requires a cable on a power brick, which can be cumbersome when using multiple in the setup. Battery life is supposed to range from 8 to 12 hours, but I got closer to 8 hours with Bluetooth connectivity. I'm sure you can get more if you use the analog input. The speakers are connected using the company's own WaveDot communication. When lined up, the speakers will pair very quickly and bolster the soundstage to fit the number and the orientation of the setup. A typical setup is this soundbar that has become my main sound solution for my desktop computer. Further customization of the setups and the LED light are done in the iFi app, but even better is the ability to have different hosts. For example, if each speaker is connected to a different phone or device, each host can switch off playing sounds or music and it will play from the entire setup. Overall, we really love the wireless connectivity. Getting better stacked sound is as easy as touching the speakers together. It's convenient and honestly, pretty brilliant. So let's talk about the sound. On their own, the iFi speakers have good mids and highs, but are decent in the lows, missing that bit of oomph that we would expect in hip hop and EDM tests. Pretty much any other form of music come out beautifully, however, even podcasts and spoken content. The sound is overall pretty great and you don't get any distortion in the higher volumes. Speaking of volume, it's actually what kind of surprised us a little bit. I was able to use the speaker, just one of them, outside and it was more than enough to be able to add music to my backyard workouts. Volume is a much more noticeable change. If one speaker is at 20%, putting it with two other ones puts them at the same level, resulting in about a 60% total relative volume. That is why the setup I saw in Las Vegas was so loud. Imagine the volume when there are 60 plus in the group. So overall, this all sounds pretty incredible, and truly, it kind of is. After all, there are only a few caveats when it comes to the experience of the iFi speakers, but there's one huge asterisk that we have to tack on that we think you should really consider. The price. Each iFi speaker costs $299, making its smaller form factor and somewhat smaller soundstage more expensive than comparable units like the UE Megaboom, which can also pair to other speakers, although wirelessly. Users who want the best sound possible from these speakers would have to pay close to $1,000 to get a soundbar setup like the one I've shown in this review. Now though iFi do claim that these speakers when stacked are comparable to a studio monitor, there are plenty of studio monitors out there that come in at much lower prices. And if you happen to have any friends who happen to have the iFi, that's great. However, if you want to enjoy the best sound that iFi can create, you're gonna have to fork over all that money just to get at least three for a soundbar. 
We hope a more affordable version too of the iFi is in the cards, but until then, these speakers are both one of our favorites while simultaneously being a very tough sell. Okay, I want to thank the guys here at Sound Guys for having me on once again in order to review these iFi stackable speakers. I have a lot of fun with them, and I think you would too. Unfortunately, your wallet is going to need to be pretty thick in order for you to even pay for more than one of these. At $299 each, you really only get the most fun if you're able to put down maybe that two or three times over. So keep it tuned to Sound Guys for even more in the world of audio, everything from Bluetooth speakers like this to headphones, analog or wireless and you can stay tuned here and remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can keep up with all that we bring you in the world of audio.